Greetings, Doff It Up Morgan here. This is a Daijobu Kuma production for Scandally Clad. We're doing Cavalier of the Abyss, Chapter 41. And this is using the Typesetterer tool, Part 2. We're back on page 37, the one that I used in Part 1 as the example, because I'd like to show a different way that you can use the Typesetterer tool. In Part 1, I was showing how you just simply place, 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 and so forth. But here I want to show how you can both place and style to save time. So let's go back to the gridded teeth let F2 and then we're going to change it, do some styling. We need to make it larger. Okay, I want to go just a little bit larger. 30 pixels. There we go. Let's go ahead and do a little bit of formatting. There. Now, because we've taken the default 18 pixels, raised it to 30, I want a little more oomph because of the gridded teeth emphasis, so let's go to Wild Words Bold. There. And as you can see, the Typesetter tool is still patiently waiting for us to do the next one. Now, the next one is a special effect, but let's get back to that because instead let's focus upon doing the dialogue so that we can stay within the same font family. So we can go ahead and select the next line, and then we can go here, still in text mode, and do a text box, F2, and let's get rid of the double exclamation change it back to wild words, go for the bold italic for a shout, there. Okay, so we're at 30, which happens to match what we're already doing. We can go ahead and leave it in wild words, bold italic, go to the next one. That's one word. And then we simply go F2. And that's a little too big, as I thought. Let's drop down to 24. Just a second here. Drop down to 24. There. That's better. Let's reposition a little. And the next one will also keep at 24. Wild words, bold, italic. F2. Nope, that's a special effects. Oh well. So we just go ahead and let it skip to the next line. And here we just simply control A to select. F2 again. There we go. You see how versatile the typesetter tool is. Fairly forgiving. There we go. It is a little bit large for this balloon, but given the small size of the balloon, the small um, panel that we're working with, I'm going to go ahead and leave it at 24. But we do need to make a couple of changes. Exclamation. That makes it a little too long for this bubble. So we do that. That's typical of typesetting. You tweak, tune, adjust, tinker. Here, I think we've got just enough room to add the exclamation. Add the exclamation. Hang on. Getting there. Let's take a look here. Okay, it's a bit of a squeeze, but we got that fixed. So we'll go ahead and tell that. Perfectly fine. Now we need to go to the ellipse, which is next. Let's zoom in for a little bit here. And then we go there. We're at Wild Words Bold Italic 24 pixels. And that's probably a pretty good size for the ellipse here. Okay, then we come here to this one. It's not going to be bold italic. It's going to be the regular Roman text. So we F2 for that. And 24 is a bit too big. We're going to go to 18. There. And so let's tone this down just a little to match that. So we get the same tone in effect. Change that to 18. There we go. 
And once again, typesetting tool is patiently waiting for us to get done. So let's move down the page, finish placing the dialog. Here. Pa bypassing the glare o' death. Select this one. Go here. And we're set for bold italic 18. That should work. F2. It does. And we do a little bit more formatting, like so. Skip over the special effects. And then we put in the slab of text. Again, wild words bold. We're going to have to go in and do a little bit of justifying here. Okay, we're going to have to come in and justify some more. So, One trick that I like to do is if it seems like the top line is longer than the rest of the lines and it's preventing it from formatting properly, justifying properly, I'll do this. And as you can see, that helps clean it up, makes it easier. There. Go there. I'm not totally happy with that, but I'll come back to it later. Then we move on to the SFX. Now for the SFX, let's drop down here a bit. That's a different font family. So now we go back and we do the SFX. Select the first one. Go in here it's going to be Comica Display. Also set to 18 pixels. So we simply F2. There we go. Position that relative to the SFX. Then we've got the next one stinging. Owie owie. That goes here. And we need to move that up so that it associates more with the special effect. There. There we go. And the next, spe next special effects is the glare of doom. Two. Let's move in a little bit more. There we go. Get that positioned. Tell it we're done. F3. Remember, you can use F3 or you can hit the little check, box, check mark. The next is going to be TAT. Let's zoom out. And that's going to be here. Again, in Comica, all of it in Comica Display here. And then the next one, we select it and it's going to be this one, the pat. And let's go in there and adjust that one. There. And your page is done. So if you like to go through and do them one page at a time, as a preference, you can do it that way instead. And we're done.